Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're, we're very, very honoured to have uh, President Michael D. Higgins in attendance with us in, in, in the auditorium this evening. And I'd like to uh, ask President Higgins to, to come forward now, please, and present uh, Professor Pavel with a very specially commissioned William King Medal to mark this very historic occasion and also to recognise Professor Pavel's very, very considerable um, um, uh, contribution to our understanding of human origins. Okay, if I could ask um, Svante to stay and, and President Higgins maybe to stay there. Um, just to say, President Higgins, we're, we're very, very pleased and honoured that you, you come here um, to support the event and in doing so, endorse and honour the scientific legacy of Professor William King. Um, to mark this very historic occasion, on behalf of the uh, organisers of the symposium here, on behalf of the National University of Ireland Galway, and indeed on behalf of everybody here in the auditorium, I'd like to present you with, grand reveal, <laughs> I'd like to present you with this specially commissioned Neanderthal bust. Um, just say that this, this is a unique piece of artwork which was created by the sculptor Breen O'Cara who's a, a local artist and it's fashioned from Galway granite and that's very deliberate. It's fashioned from Galway granite to emphasise the link between these uh, prehistoric people and the west of Ireland, the place where they were, their formal scientific name was essentially devised and uh, dare I say Professor William King dared to dream. So thank you very much. Well, I think it's all just to all of our glaku, lesh, and the best shark special chance of making a full in a ethic in our snooptron. I'm very pleased to receive this, but I'm even more pleased to have been present at the wonderful lecture by Professor Pavo and uh, to have been asked, uh, to be given the honour of presenting him uh, with the medal. I, I think uh, it is wonderful to see so many people interested in the curiosity of science and of knowledge. And I sometimes think, uh, I spoke recently, I think, in, in, in London on how we maybe don't sufficiently honour our scientists. And I, I think it's marvellous to see so many people uh, from d uh, different parts of, of the, the region here uh, gathered here. I think the university is to be very, very much complimented in reaching back and uh, looking at the, the fantastic commitment to scholarship of uh, those early professors, uh, starting with 29 students to move on to today when um, uh, Galway University is such a wonderful institution. But what I think it tells us as well, and uh, I, I often think about them, is how many different subjects some of them taught. This isn't to make a case now at all for, for uh, the reduction of staff, I should point out immediately. <laughs> but it is to say about the breadth of their intellectual curiosity. So uh, I should tell you that uh, uh, in all of the meetings I had recently in London, there was a very, very great interest in the Irish contribution to science, a contribution that is, uh, that is we're recording today in relation to, I'm so pleased that members of uh, the descendants of, of, of Professor King are here with us, which is a great, great pleasure to have been able to keep that continuity and to see so many names of the different generations of the King family inscribed in the records. I congratulate the university on showing such wonderful facilities now for Arca 
archives, and I encourage people to donate, to, to, to give uh, very, very important parts of our common story uh, in the Irish sense, in the literary sense, and every other way uh, to, to the archives uh, in University College of Warburg. But really, the, the reason I, I came down this evening was uh, uh, to pay tribute to uh, uh, this institution to which I have, for which I have a great affection and to which I owe so much, uh, and also to, to listen to a brilliant lecture. And uh, that is what is always important. There will always be uh, the, the inspiring scholar, and even then, uh, the, the, that even rarer person, uh, the inspiring scholar who is able to communicate with enthusiasm all of the possibilities of science into the future. So once again, uh, I salute Professor Pervo, and I thank you for your, for your contribution to this evening.